Hello and happy IEEE Day 2021. Thank you for this opportunity to share with you about IEEE Hack and Site. Today I'll be giving a quick introduction of IEEE Hack and Site's work, along with examples of sustainable development and humanitarian technology projects we've funded recently, and ideas of how you can connect with Hack and Site. IEEE Hack reports to the IEEE Board of Directors and provides leadership as well as a suite of resources that inspire and enable IEEE volunteers around the world to carry out and support impactful humanitarian technology and sustainable development activities at the local level. I, I ACT's work focuses on raising awareness, HACA engage, engages in outreach efforts so that existing and potential IEEE members know how they can use their technical skills for social good. Through providing training, this is done through education materials and opportunities that allow humanitarian technology and sustainable development activities, participants to obtain necessary skills. For example, to date, more than 440 individuals have participated in the hack and site courses on the IEEE learning network. Through supporting maintaining technology and sustainable development activities that contribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. For example, from 2016 to 2020, HAC awarded over $2.6 million to 329 projects and events. So far in 2021, HAC and site received a record number of 380 proposals from 39 countries and funded 62 projects from, 60, from 16 countries. Through creating sustainable development community, through collaborations within, the, within and beyond IEEE. For example, here pilots are in progress with IEEE regions, IEEE societies, and other IEEE entities and external organizations. SITE is a program and subcommittee of HAC. The SITE Global Network of IEEE volunteers partner with underserved communities and local organizations to leverage technology for sustainable development. There are nearly 19,000 SITE members throughout the world. And roughly 62% of them are student members and young professionals. Members who participate in site activities many times find it to be a rewarding experience that allows for gaining hands on knowledge, improving technical skills, networking, and making positive change in the local community. Site encourages its individual members to form groups consisting of at least six IEEE members who come together to learn about sustainable development, build relationships within their local communities, implement humanitarian technology and sustainable development group projects that utilize technology to tackle key problems within the community. Since site's inception in 2011, 195 site groups have been established in 53 countries. I wanted to provide a bit of background on site's history, as this year we are celebrating 10 years of IEEE site. In 2011, the site program was conceptualized and nodulated along with the IEEE Humanitarian Paddle Committee. And then in 2012, site launched operations. You can see how the program has grown and reached important milestones over the years to be what it is today. This year, site has almost 19,000 members and 195 site groups. We also have received a record of 318 proposals, 318 proposals for both the hack and site call for proposals this year, many of which were submitted by site members and site groups. Here is a map of a map to demonstrate site's 
significant worldwide reach. This depicts approximate location for the 195 site groups that have been established. So there are a number of benefits to engaging in humanitarian technology and sustainably purpose activities at IEEE, such as the opportunity to learn and develop professional skills, connection and community with like-minded IEEE members around the world, as well as members of your own your community. Working towards a greater purpose, that's another benefit, as well as making a real life. With IEEE, you can use your technical skills to give back, something that can be hard to find in other volunteering opportunities. IEEE Arkans, IEEE site activities deliver real value to IEEE, organizational units, individual members, and of course, the communities impacted. A recent survey funded of, a recent survey of funded project leads and site group chairs revealed that nearly nine in 10, roughly 85% respondents uh, re report that members of their ARCAN site team become members of I2E as a result of their experience on the team. It's also noted that almost all, that is about 95% project leads and group chairs are likely to renew their I2E membership. Three quarters, uh, that's about 76% of respondents say their participation in the I2E app and site influences their likelihood to renew their I2E membership. Now I'll share more specifically about how I2E hack and site empower I2E volunteers using the example of the support offered during the COVID-19 pandemic. Beginning in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic began to make an unprecedented impact on the world, realizing the need for support. Hack and site offered a call for proposals to support it for a member grassroots humanitarian technology and sustainable development projects that utilize technology to address local challenging realities of the COVID-19 situation. This year, Hack and Site expanded their second call to include any pressing need affecting the targeted communities. Between 2020 and 2021, Hack and Site held four calls for proposals and received a wonderful response of 385 proposals. Uh, that is 229 from 2020 and 318 from 2021. Submitted from I2E members around the world. In the 2020, I2E Hack and Site awarded funding to 110 projects to be implemented in response to COVID 19 in, 20, in 29 countries. And in 2021, so far, I2E Hack and Site has awarded funding to 35 projects that will take place in 14 countries. The funding decisions will be made the next month. To date, approximately half of the projects from 2020 to 2020 have been fully implemented. Some have applied for additional rounds of I2E hack and site funding in order to replicate or scale up their solution. Now I'd like to briefly share with you some of the examples of these funded projects that were implemented by our amazing hack and site volunteers. This project took place in Argentina, led by a team of both students and professional I2E members from the Argentina section. The project team worked to mitigate aspects of the pandemic in a remote area of the country by installing a solar power solution system and building a, a system at a rural community center and a Wi-Fi tower in the town. It's been exciting to hear early results from the funded projects, such as this one. 60 people from 
a technical school close by received training on rural electrification systems to allow them to maintain the system installed. This will definitely help to ensure the system's long-term sustainability. These solar panels installed allow 25 families to access renewable energy and 11 families to access clean water from the system. 23 students are benefiting from the Wi-Fi tower. Longer-term outcomes in terms of health care and education will be assessed in the coming months. This is another impressive project that took place in Nigeria, carried out by IEEE young professional volunteers. The project team partnered with a local government entity to create an online repository for all health promotional activities, campaigns, and resources coming from the Federal Ministry of Health. They trained 20 staff members on using social media, produced graphic content in English and three local languages on health living and COVID-19 preventive measures, contributed content to national awareness campaigns, implemented a platform to facilitate a survey on the health status of citizens across the country, and designed and implemented a monitoring and evaluation platform to be used by the government staff nationwide. In terms of the initial impact, the team's work was covered nationally in several news articles, that was an opportunity to share about I2E. Thanks to what the team accomplished, the Nigerian Health Promotion Division was strengthened to serve as a one-stop shop for resources in health promotion in Nigeria. The, their engagement with the community was improved by sharing information on containing the spread of COVID-19 by using both uh, traditional and social media channels. How can site projects provide student members with the opportunity to learn and develop professional skills through engaging them in real life situations and allowing them to support their local communities, such as in the example of this project? The project team was mostly composed of I2E student members in Dhanabad, India. The team members designed a smart auto irrigation and app-based soil monitoring system with features including a multilingual control Android application, farmer's irrigation support, 24-7 uh, monitoring uh, smart adjustments according to environmental conditions, and modular designed with support for multiple sprinklers or pumps. The project was promoted by both the national and local media by placing the older irrigation technology that led to water waste, residents of the Nadanbad area were encouraged to stay and, and farm instead of to stay uh, on farm instead of migrating to other cities for employment. The efficient irrigation with a sprinkler system is enhancing crop yield and contributing to the economic well being of the farming community. The project also received another round of funding uh, in 2021 by Hack and Site to install additional smart irrigation systems in the area. We are coming to the end of our time, so I'll conclude by sharing how you can get involved with IEEE Hack and Site. Hack is uniquely positioned to bring together entities within the within and beyond IEEE to advance humanitarian technology and sustainable development in local communities around the globe. HAC promotes the role of technology in sustainable development. Its program supports over 19,000 members in 121 countries. Few organizations have this, have this kind of geographic reach, even if you are also pos possess the kind of technical expertise that our members do. There are a number of collaboration opportunities with Hack and Site for individuals, some of which I will share here. One, you can identify potential opportunities to scale existing programs, pilot new activities, and develop new approaches. 
you can as well become a site member you can participate in the IEEE hack site free online courses on the IEEE learning network ILN that equip participants with a basic understanding of humanitarian technology and sustainable development topics benefits include the opportunity to learn and develop professional skills connection and community with like-minded people working toward a greater purpose and using your technical skills to give back if you are watching this presentation as a representative of another it for entity or an external organization there are opportunities for you as well one you can publish publicize hack and site opportunities for an example would be the call for proposals you can maximize your impact through a jointly defined funded IEEE hack or site project or pro program support the first IEEE hack global summit scheduled for November 10th 2021 benefits include engaging existing members or employees and attract potential members with an opportunity to develop real world engineering skills here is it here is information on the hack and site website and contact information all questions comments suggestions may be sent to that particular email hack office at it for thank you for your time we hope to hear from you about ideas you may have for collaboration or how you'd like to get involved with IT4E hack and site. Thank you very much.